Hello, just Jamie here offering you a brand new tutorial to go in line with my unbelievably simple emulation series. I am looking at Model 2 by Sega today, so Model 2 emulation is of course a late 1990s to early 2000s arcade system. So to download this as usual, link is in my description. So first thing you're going to do is click on the link and it's going to bring you to this website. So just go to downloads and we need to download the emulator itself which is currently 1.1a so let's just left click on this and download it you will get yourself a zipped file download just drag it onto your desktop and close the website down uh, next thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder on your desktop so left click on your desktop new folder and just simply call this folder sega and you can drag the emulator you just downloaded into this folder just open up the folder and once inside we need to extract this what we just downloaded so right click on it i'll use winrar it's an extraction program you might use 7zip or winzip but they all work the same and i'm going to go to extract here okay so you can now delete this compressed zip folder we no longer need it and whilst we're in here we're going to right click again this is where our games are going to go and i'm going to just create another folder inside a subfolder that is and i'm going to call this one simply games so you need to source your own games for this and in this tutorial just for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be using daytona uh, games for the model 2 emulator need to be in zipped format so I'm going to just drag and drop my Daytona into the games. Next thing we need to do is we need to tell the emulator where to find our games and you need to do this otherwise games will fail to load. So first thing I suggest you doing is we open up this games folder, this search bar on top here if you left click on it and just copy this directory. We back out of here and there's a little file here with a little cog on it configuration file left click on it and just here under ROMs directory there's a little semicolon if you backspace this delete it and we need to change this directory path so I'm going to just delete this and I'm going to paste what I just copied from my search bar for this new directory and just do exactly what I'm doing here so okay so once you've sorted out your directory if you just scroll down a little bit and I'm going to say this for uh, PlayStation controls and even Xbox controllers if you just scroll down a little bit there's a value we need to add here so under input uh, by default when you open this for the first time it will say zero uh, what you need to do is just backspace and delete this and just put number one to enable so that's that so of course we need to now save these settings okay so we've opened up this let's try and get this working so if we go to emulator go to load rom daytona usa okay so you've got your game loaded up nothing's working so what are you going to do to rectify this problem let's check this out so what we're going to do here is simply go up to game configure controls and we can now define our controller so i'm using my trusty ps3 controller here and we just double left click on each input i press up i double left click on down and press down on my d-pad left right and so on and so forth uh, so we've got different options here for Daytona so I'm going to just go and press coin one and I'm going to use select on my controller to use coin one we need this to start the game and we're also going to need to press start on this and a few other different options so we got shifts we got brakes uh, so let's just check steering as you can hear now my PlayStation controller is actually doing something but it's still not working what to do is press f2 on the keyboard and dependent on which buttons you've configured on your controller so here we go we have got daytona accessory running so in order to get a full screen from this i'm going to just go to video and you've got different options here for resolutions i'm gonna go down to the best resolution this one offers and i'm then going to go switch to full screen
And there we go. So dependent on how you configure it to your controller, a uh, different controller is going to work differently with how you map them. And you will have sound on this, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I've just disabled the sound. So let's check out a bit of Daytona. So if you remember the control settings option I showed you just now, you'll find three check marks under controls in acceleration. If you check these, you can actually use your analog pad as acceleration if pressing up. So I think that concludes our tutorial today for Sega Model 2 emulation on PC. As usual, I'm on Patreon, so if you need any further support, guidance for any of my tutorials, just check that one out. And if you fancy buying me a nice cup of coffee, my link's in the description. See you later.